What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man. I got a late night recording because I wanted to get this thing recorded today. Um, before we go any further, we've got to have a word from our sponsor. Always got to give it up for the sponsor. Thank the sponsor so much for sponsoring our channel and really all of our lives. Uh, what is, who is our sponsor? Jesus. Jesus. This is from John 10.10. 10, and it's something that I forget often because the, the Bible and we, what we talk about so much is that Jesus is the son of God and probably the most, what do you think the most uh, famous Bible verse is? John 3.16. What, is, what does it talk about? Um, like the very first couple of words. I forgot. My forgot mind is going blank because it's, oh, for he gave his only son. He gave his only yeah. son. And it talks about, it, but there's places all over the New Testament and, and the Old Testament, but Jesus talks about God as father all the time. And we always think about Jesus being God's son. It's not exactly God's son. We, I think that most of the reason why there's, why Jesus refers to God that way is because he wants to show the relational side of our uh, relationship with God and how he is a, with a relationship he's like a perfect father and that's introduced by Jesus in the New Testament but Jesus is actually who? Really? Our father. He's God. He is God. Right which is why I said our he's, father. He, he's not really Jesus. He's not really God's son. It's not like God. Uh, I, I, I think of the word in Spanish all the time. I don't know why. This is one of the very few times when my brain thinks in Spanish and uh, and children is like cria, and it's like it's it's not God's offspring. God didn't create this and send his son to do the hard work. He it was just himself in uh, human form. In human form, and there's plenty of places in the Bible that talk about it. But this is one where Jesus actually says it. And this is John 10 verse 29. And he says, my father who has given them to me is greater than all. So he does refer to his God as his father. But then he says, no one can snatch them out of my father's hands. And this is verse 30. I and the father are one. So that's like a very clear statement out of Jesus's mouth. This is red letters where he's, where he is saying, I am God. And it's something that I, I often forget that, that he came and sacrificed himself or it wasn't really that God sent somebody else it's just that God is not a human, and so they aren't exactly the same, but he is God. He, he came to earth himself, and he sacrificed himself for us. So thank you so much, God, for doing that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One more quick shout-out. God, I was going to do this. Uh, Braden. Um, so I, I've got a big squad of people that go for shoes for me at work, and I really appreciate them. And I'm glad that I was able to help one of them out today. Or, or I'm going to be able to help one of them out today. By the time you're seeing this video, you've already got your shoes in hand. But this is them. Hit on an extra pair of these the other day. I mean, what 10-year-old doesn't want some some uh, some pandalos, right. right? Right. So, Braden, you're welcome. Uh, go shout out Super Dana Shoe Man at school. Por favor, send them over here. Uh, another shoe that I got for somebody that, uh, a special dude. This is the mid, but hey, this is what he wants. And he doesn't, he's not a shoe guy. He just wants some Jordans. He likes the look. Uh, he saw the movie, and this is a similar look. So I got these for him. I got to send these out to Toby in South Carolina. I got to go out soon. Uh, I've also been trying to, to return, not return, get a service request done on one of my pairs of Costa sunglasses. They just keep denying it over like stupid things they've they fixed glasses before sent me brand new ones for free that's why I, I only buy Costa sunglasses now and it's just like there was a in the one of the pictures that I sent there was like a small view of another pair of Costa sunglasses and they said we can only take one request at a time I'm like bruh maybe they just have a new uh, a new process because it was several years ago that I used the process but that is why I use them because they do back their stuff up I mean it is really expensive but here we go bruh Oh. <laughs> I tried to make it a moment and everything. I know, and I saw that. All right, so this is another God I'm early. Another every, one. Another one. Every video that I've published so far <laughs> since my month and a half off have, has been a, a God I'm early, and this is another one. And this is a, another one from the squad. I didn't really cop this myself, but I think these actually dropped one of the days I was in the office, so I had rallied all the troops, and we managed to get these. Let me make sure that this is it. Yes, it is. This is Air Jordan 1. RTR, I don't even know what that stands for. There's actually, I guess it stands for retro. There's actually a lot I don't know about this shoe. I'm seeing it in, 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 up close for the first time. It's coming out on May the 20th. Oh no. Oh, what? No. Because I need to I need to make sure I get this right. So I, I saved it and sent it to you. Change it? Change what? 
It's my birthday. It's always been my birthday, bro. Oh, the whole thing with the year. There we go. All right. So, there we go. Uh, sneakers, this comes out on May the 20th, so you're going to have a couple of weeks after you've seen it here to decide whether or not you want to get it. It's 200 bucks for the men's size. This is a grade school size that was all I was able to hit on, and I think it's going to be a little bit more expensive than the normal one. I, I can't remember. Than a, than a normal Jordan one. But uh, out... Um, I'm thinking about work. Uh, Sneakers is calling this the Air Jordan 1 Next Chapter. StockX calls this the Air Jordan 1 High OG Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. There was a, a previous version of a Jordan 1 High Spider-Man, and uh, it went a lot harder than this one is going right now, and I, I agree that I think it looked better than this one is going to look. Um, and these aren't going for crazy prices right now, even though they haven't even come out yet. But... I am glad to get this in hand and be able to see it. I feel like a lot of people got exclusive access on this. This wasn't exclusive access. This was a shop drop. Oh. They might have had exclusive access. To tomato, it. tomato. No, it's different. <laughs> it's different. Seems like the same right. thing. Oop, there. We've got the Subway sandwich wrapped shoes Whoop. here. I do believe these are both the same, so I'm only going to take one out right now. Whoop. But this Whoop. says Air Jordan 1 uh, RTR. I assume that stands for Retro High OG SP, which is special, I guess. Uh, special, special, something. peripheral vision. Uh, grade school, university, <sighs> like red, paint. black. Parakeet. This is your boring. Size. I don't know. It's not boring. It's not boring. You get some Just a translucent red outsole. Yeah, it's definitely not what boring. We, what should we put beside this? We should put nothing. It deserves its a moment. No, oh, we were gonna. I, I should have put the this one, but. The lost and found, but nope. I'm, I'm doing some. You're doing some B-roll. So I'm there's different pieces of material all across this. That's kind of weird. I really hate that. The top. Okay, I can't see what's on that side. It's the same thing on that side. Okay, but you got patent leather. You got like just some normal leather. You got some suede. What is this? This is like dirty looking leather. This dirty. Like, Doesn't it look dirty? It looks really. Yeah, it's all on the back. Yeah. Suede, dirty. I don't like the then random you get polka these dots. Colors at the top. back here. You get uh, the collar area is patent leather too. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. Do you remember that book we used to read when I was little? It was a white book with a yellow bear, and he talked to these two little kids about spots. Somebody <laughs> that's watching this video will understand. That's what those spots look like. These spots. Yes. Okay, I don't know. Now, this reminds me of like cap gun uh, ammo. The way the little spots are on there um but it's just different pieces everywhere this is almost like a papery feel uh i think that the the strawberry milks and chocolate milks had a feel like this yeah this is really weird I really this looks like, like a mid like it yeah it looks like it'd be sitting on a shelf at Foot Locker. as a mid yeah yeah as anything it just would be sitting on but the it's shelf a high highs highs won't uh, i mean a high with normal color blocking and normal colors this is red and, and white and black wouldn't sit i must say i do like the little holographic I do like where's those. the hologram on the swoosh and on the top yeah oh on this too okay that's that is cool. I, I like that, that it's yeah, reflective right. in rainbow it's it's reflective with some that's not hologram that's more like it's like an oil slick What's yeah that? maybe that is holographic so woo oh yes <laughs> just oh yeah just glue but hey Braden might want these too Brayden Bryson. I hope I'm getting his name right. I was going to look because I, I mean, I, I've only. Brandon. His mom only. No, it's Brayden or Bryson, I think. Crap. I'm sorry. You need to comment. I, you never comment on one of my videos. So now you have a shoe from me. At least one. You should tell your mom you want these two. But we also went for the Dunk High Gold Mountains. Um, I knew they were going to be easy to get. But I also knew if we only went with one or two accounts, there was a chance we weren't, weren't going to get one. So we went with like 15 accounts and got six pairs. So we had to cancel all of them. Um, but what, his mom got me another pair of shoes and it's over here somewhere. I can't remember which one it is. Some dunks. They weren't got them early. They were actually got them way late because they were re-released. We'll, got them way late. We'll, we'll make another video on those. Remember, look at this stack of got them way late. This thing is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I, it's not going anywhere. What are you doing? The address is around. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It's a big right. stack. But anyways, I'm not blown away by these. Uh, I mean, if you like this, the colors and the different materials, like different materials and stuff I, I can be good with, but some of these designs and the way that this one piece of leather is actually two pieces of leather and two different kinds, this uh, toe rand uh, mudguard is normally just one piece of leather, but it's two. I don't, I don't like this. 
this back. Uh, maybe that's Whoa, sorry. Uh, whatever cap. It's two pieces of leather too. I think it could be okay. It's just not. Yeah, it's just too much. It's, yeah. And, and the polka and dot things are really, really incredibly the ugly. The big polka dots or these little bitty ones? The big ones. The, oh, okay, okay. I really don't like this that. This is the only thing, I mean, other than it being red and white and black, Ooh. which is Spider-Man, um, this is the only thing that reminds me of, like, Spider-Verse, because it's, like, Spider-Verse being, like, uh, what's the what's the, what's the the movie we saw? The Ant-Man movie? Into the Multiverse? Mm. Isn't that what it was? Yeah, but that and reminds when, me. When you nothing. go down into the small stuff, what was that called? Uh, why can't I remember this? I don't remember. I'm not an astrophysicist. I think that's why. I know what you're talking about. When they you go into, into the, the nano, you go the nano. nano. Yeah. The nanoverse, like this, these kind of colors and shapes and circles, the way they're on top of each other. I can kind of see how that that goes with that. But otherwise, this isn't Spider-Man at all. That's unfortunate that it's not Spider-Man. No, I think absolutely. If they okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, what you do get from this though, what you do get, the, like the Whoa. leather is pretty nice leather everywhere. Like it's really thick cut and you get, uh, you get the open, uh, open cuts on the side that I like seeing because it makes it look like and feel more, more premium, even though it's not premium at all. Not I like think this. that ruins every ounce of Spider-Man aspect it has. What? This? The, yeah, there's this. big old polka dots. I think it would have been, I think that's if the they would have just named it Spider-Man, it would have absolutely been Spider-Man without those big polka dots. Yeah, I, no, I think so. But I think that's the only thing on here other than just the colors. Which like, if the, they named the, that Spider-Man, it would have been Spider-Man. Yeah, 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 I agree. I don't I don't think this particular one kills it for me. It's just everything being a blah that kind of kills it. Yeah. it. There's nothing that really screams Spider-Man. This is the only thing that, that even tells me that this is more, that, that could even hint at it being Mar Marvel. Marvel. Also, I yeah. feel like I need to say, especially for Bryson or Brandon or Brayden. Bryson. Might be Bryson. I don't know. I'm sorry, dude. You need a comment. Dude, for dude. I don't think these would look bad on somebody. Every time I critique a shoe, yeah, I think, of it, on, I think of it for somebody. myself. They wouldn't look bad on somebody. I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I've said that on plenty of videos in the past. When I talk about shoes and whether I like them or not, I might even say they're trash. That's just my opinion. I don't like them. Plenty of people are going to dog on... The, the the mid that I put here now, like but between these two, which one would you wear? This is a high OG, this is a mid, this is six and a half, and this is a bigger size. But um, people would dog on on people for wearing a mid just because it's a mid. But hey, like it, you like it when you like it, right. you like it, and that's all. There like is to it's it. the same idea as when you have like a Jordan Twelve. I hate Jordan Twelves, but when I see some like if I'm out at, at work at Alcatraz and I see a dad walk by and he has Jordan Twelves on, I'm like, oh, that like, oh, I'm just like, yeah. oh, those look cool. Like oh yeah, and it could be the exact same Jordan Twelves I just said I didn't like yesterday, but. But just, for yourself. I, when I'm but talking about shoes, I absolutely only think about myself. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> if you like the shoe and if you want the shoe, you should get it. I'm just not feeling it. Yeah. I'm not agreed. feeling it up close. Although the materials overall are, are really nice. The the leather, the normal pieces of leather that are on this are nice and thick and look like they're decent quality and put together. Decent quality for a Jordan and, and put together pretty well. I'm sure this is just a what kind of insole? Yes, it is. Ortholite insole, um, which... It seems like I haven't worn my what's the other one? The black one? Ortholite. No, this is the Ortholite that's blue. The new black the black one is Dream Cell. Dream Cell. And it, it felt like when the Dream Cell came out that the Dream Cell might be better than normal Ortholite. I don't from what I'm seeing, I don't think it is. I think it, it bottoms out more quickly than Ortholite. Like it just squishes out and won't even reinflate. Right. So it probably isn't any better than uh, than Ortholite. And they're both just trash compared to polyurethane, but you don't get a polyurethane in there. This uh, what do you call this? This tongue, this tongue is really stiff. Which is it weird. looks really stiff. It looks but like anyways, it's a cardboard. Um, I, I really wish I was blown away by these and and that I liked them, but not feeling it. Luckily, these aren't for me. I don't need to worry about what to do with them. I'm just gonna pass them on to the next person. Toby, enjoy these. Got a shout out to. All right, it was Brayden, and I'm gonna make sure Atticus goes and tell. You need to make sure that Atticus tells. Uh, his friends at school to watch this video all the way to the end. Okay. Because I went on a field trip with them last week. Met Braden. <laughs> Braden watches the videos. He goes, "Are you Super Dan Shoe Man?" It's like, as a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, London was there. Sophie was there. I see them at kickball all the time too. But there's some people in it, some kids in his class. I'm his friends that I've known for a couple of years. At least London, I've known for a couple of years. And they watch the videos too. They've also got channels, so they're going to comment down below. So just do them a favor and go follow them too. 
Hit subscribe, not follow. Subscribe, follow, do all that. You should follow them. Hit the bell. But don't follow them because that'd be creepy. Take <laughs> yourself. Um, and but smash the like button. Tell your grandma about the chapter. Spider Man. This is the next chapter. Is that what Into it was? the multiverse. But what did Nike call it? Next chapter, chapter two. Oh, bro, I don't know. Whatever. Pick up the next one because I've oh, already dog. done one Spider Man. Uh, but tell your grandma, smash that like button, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> You're so pretty. Say bye. Tschüss. <laughs> <laughs>